In this video, I explain condition for stability of floating body. Now, what is meaning of floating body? Floating body means certain part of the body is inside the fluid means inside the waters. So here we see this is the body. Okay, this is diagram one and two. This is the water level. So some part of the body is inside the water, and some part is the outside the water it is called as the floating body or it is also called as the immersed body now what is meaning of stability stability means when we apply small angular displacement to the any body then what are the possibilities are there first possibility the body is returned back to its original position second it is sink inside the water and the third it's displaced to the new position it's displaced to the new position so here the three conditions are there means here we explain the three cases for three cases that is the three conditions are there so condition is based on the two point one is the g point and second is the meta center or meta centric points so in a last video we discuss about the condition for stability of submerged body so during the submerged body we focus on the two point one is the point g so here also we consider the g point second point in a submerged body is the buoyancy force b okay but here we not need to focus on the b point so instance of the buoyancy point or center of buoyancy here we focus on the meta centers so here we consider two point one is the g and second is the meta center or meta centric points the stability of floating body is determined from the position of meta centers in a submerged body we determine the positions by using the center of buoyancy and the center of gravity in a case of floating body the weight of the body is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced means the body is displaced some liquids so weight of the liquid displaced is same as the weight of the body so first we understand the stable equilibriums if the point m is above g means meta center point is above to the center of gravity point the floating body will be in stable equilibrium as shown in this figure means for the stable equilibrium first condition is that the meta center point m is about the g point g point means about to the center of gravity points now here we see the diagram for stable equilibrium so this is the first diagram so this is the body in this body here we mention two point one is the center of buoyancy b at the center of buoyancy the buoyant and force fb is acting this is the g point at this g point the weight is acting in this downward direction here we see the center of buoyancy or a buoyant and force is acting in upward directions now if the slight angular displacement is given to the body in a clockwise direction so now in this second image we can see that the small angular displacement is given to the body in a clockwise direction then what happen the center of buoyancy is shifted from b to b1 so here we see this is the original center of buoyancy now when we given some angular displacement this b is moved to the b1 such that the vertical lines through b1s cut the m so here we extends one axis from the b1 point so it's intersect with the normal axis so this is the normal axis okay and they are intersect this point is called as the point m then the buoyancy force fb through b1 and the weight w through the g it constitute a couple acting in anti clockwise direction thus bringing the floating body in its original position so from here we apply this couple so from here it is the vertical line from b1 to g we draw one cross lines and from the cross lines the means it is intersect at these g points and which is the create a couple in anti clockwise directions so if i initially we applied the disturbing couples that is in clockwise 
and here the anti clockwise couple is created okay so body is come into the its original position then it is called as the stable equilibrium before moving ahead i request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video about the fmhm as well as the other subject of mechanical engineering for the fmhm subject various link is provided in descriptions as well as in car for other subject i request to visit the playlist second case is about the unstable equilibriums what is the condition for unstable equilibriums if the point m is below g means meta center point is below g point so earlier we understands about the stable equilibrium for the stable equilibrium what is the condition the point m is above g so here we see that this m point is above to the g okay and this m point is below to the g then it is convert in a unstable equilibriums so for a unstable equilibrium first condition is the point m is below g the floating body will be in unstable equilibrium as shown in this figure so here the initial state this is the center of buoyancy this is center of gravity and we apply some slight angular displacement given to the body in a clockwise direction here we see that the slight angular displacement is given in clockwise direction then what happen the couple due to the buoyancy and force fb and the weight w constitutes a couple also acting in a clockwise direction so from here when the couple is created from the new buoyancy points to the center of gravity so both are acting in the clockwise direction means we apply the angular displacement in clockwise directions and couple created by fb and w it is also in clockwise directions then what happen thus the overturning of the floating body means it's overturned and the body is try to sink inside the water it is called as the unstable equilibriums third one is the neutral equilibriums for neutral equilibriums the point m and the center of gravity are at the same points and floating body will be in neutral equilibriums so what is meaning of neutral equilibrium means when we applied small angular displacement to the body then body is displaced and get its new positions instance of coming back to its the original positions or moving away means during neutral equilibrium what happen when we applied angular displacement body is displaced and reached to new position or at the new place instance of coming to its original position then it is called as the neutral equilibriums thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to fmhm as well as the various subject of mechanical engineering and don't forget to share with your friends